Hi, welcome to Inspirational Moments. My name is Renee Blair. I'm the author of not only this blog, but Romantic Suspense and Christian Fiction. And I'm doing things a little different this week. Um, I thought I would do a video blog or a vlog, and I would talk to you one-on-one -on -one about what keeps me going. Um, a lot of people wonder that. I've had a lot of questions from friends and family as well as my readers as to how and why I keep going writing as well as why I, how I can do it when I am a full-time pharmacist and a pharmacy manager and then why do I keep writing when I write. It's not easy. Uh, there's a lot of things that I do do and I say and I and I keep plugging along because the stories keep coming. Um, why do Christian authors, why do is it, why does any author write a book? Uh, that's a very good question. Some people write a book because they have to write a book. It's in them and it has to come out. They have an agenda. They have a reason to write the book. It's Either it's nonfiction, it's fiction, whatever the case may be, it's in their hearts and they have something to say and they need to say it. Other people write because they love to write and they just have stories inside their heads and they just have to get them out. It's It keeps them up at night. And, and other writers write because that's all they've ever known. And for me, I write because probably a little bit of it all. Um, when I, about probably six, seven years ago, um, I was not reading the best books. I was reading very bad books. And the Lord was convicting my soul and my spirit of what I was reading. And I turned to Christian fiction. And when I read Christian fiction, I didn't necessarily read what I felt like was very good Christian fiction and and I bought a book that uh, was labeled Christian fiction and it wasn't Christian fiction. It was secular, erotic, and it was horrible. And whether that was an intentional thing that was out there on Amazon or whether it was just a, a mislabel, I couldn't tell you. All I knew was it was not what it was supposed to be. And so I ranted and I raved at my husband for an hour and then finally he looked at me and said write my own. And so I did. So my first book that I wrote was not necessarily a book of great something within me that I wanted to just have in my mind of I was going to be an author, it was more of an agenda type situation where I was like, oh, I'm going to write a book, I'm going to write it in the best possible way that the Lord could be proud of me. But then, writing became something more to me than just what I could do for me. It became what I could do for Him. And I think all authors have something in them or a writers have something in them that is more than anything else it's beyond them themselves and anybody can be a writer and if you want to be a writer do it because you don't have to write perfect you don't have to write the perfect grammar, the all of that can be dealt with. You just need to get the message that is within you out. The story that is within you out. Let everything else take care of itself. And it will. You can have an editor. You can have a crit group. You can have everybody else help you with that other stuff so that the book can be published, it can be publishable, and it will get there. You can learn how to write to be an author, but every 
you have to be able to get past the point of, I can't put the words on the page. I can't get the story within my soul, my mind, my heart out. Get past that so that you can get whatever is inside you on the page. Whether it's coming from the Lord, whether it's coming from your soul, whether it's coming from your experiences, whatever it is that's driving you to put the words down, don't let, I don't know how this grammar works. I don't know how the spelling works. I don't know how the sentence structure works. I don't know what I should say. Don't let that stop you from getting the words on the page because you will be able to learn all that other stuff. I'm learning it now. I've learned a lot since that seven year, six year mark ago. I'm never gonna stop learning. I don't wanna stop learning. Nobody should stop learning. And the minute you say, I know it all, I'm the best author, the best writer in the world, that's when you've lost it. And I don't want to read an author or a writer's work if they say, I know it all, or I can't learn more, or I can't change, or I can't do this, or I can't do that. Because for me, that means that they can't evolve in their writing to learn more, and to express more, and to change, because this this world is changing all the time and you have to be able to touch your readers where they are not where you are necessarily but where they are and the only way to do that is to reveal a little bit more about yourself than you were willing to reveal yesterday and to get those words on the page and to elicit and, ex and help them understand not only about you but about themselves and to do that you have to ask for help because you don't know everything not only about yourself but about them so don't be afraid to take that step and ask for help and when you're trying to get the words on the page and that next step to get that book published and I hope this helps just a little bit because I'm always asking for help. I'm a very busy person. I can't do it all myself. And I hope that you don't think you can either. See you later.